Hello YouTube, this is KTV Gamers with me, Banana Man 6 and today I'm going to be showing you how to um, emulate or run Nintendo GameCube games on a PC or Mac computer. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need to do is go to the link I have in the description and that will take you to DolphinEmulator.com right, DolphinEmulator.com and what Dolphin is, is it's a great, it's one of the most popular GameCube emulators out there and it's also a really good Wii emulator as well if you've got a like an IR emitter or receiver or whatever an IR emitter I mean whatever and Bluetooth and that kind of stuff so um, yeah right so what you do when you go onto this website you just want to go to downloads and um, once it loads come on Right, so download, yeah. And you want to download the latest version. At the time of this video, it was 3.0-720. And if you've got a Mac computer or PC or whatever, if you've got a Mac, you want to download here. You want to download the Mac version. If, you want, if you're on Windows, you want to get to the correct bit file for your computer. Now, I'm running 64-bit Windows, so I'd want to download the 64-bit. If you're not sure what type of Windows you're running, what you can do is you can go into computer system properties on Windows 7 and um, it should say here system type I'm running 64 bit so I need to download 64 bit windows if you're running 32 bit download the 32 bit windows so download it come to this yeah my um, antivirus blocked it well my um, um, ad blocker I mean sorry um, so yeah, so just download it and save it. And once you've downloaded it and save it, you want to extract it. So I'll show you how to do that now. Download it, open it, and um, this is the Dolphin files. No install needed. It's a portable um, program, so you can run it off like a USB or whatever you wanted. So just get that and extract it in WinRAR. Just extract it to wherever you want to save it. So that's that. Now the net, and then this is what it looks like. Dolphin and this is what it looks like Dolphin 3.0 yeah right so the next thing you want to do is you want to go to um, whatever ROM site you want I use um, Emu Paradise because for me it's the fastest download All this one gives me down this was, um, domain gives me downloads of well in excess of one megabit a second um, whereas the other sites either um, the other sites only allow me to download at about 60 to 200 kilobytes a second which takes quite a while considering most of the files are about a gig each so just search the game you want for me I'm going to be searching um, Super Mario Paradise because that was a fun game when it came out I know it's a bit childish but it was Oh no, it's not Super Mario Paradise. What am I thinking? Super Mario Sunshine. So just search the game you want. And here you go, this is the ROMs for it. And um, they're all GameCube, you can see system Nintendo GameCube. But um you'll want to yeah, you want to download either the Wii one or the Nintendo GameCube that you want. And click on it. And then just click to download links and there it is, click on that click on that and it'll start to download so there you go I'm just going to skip it, I'm just going to um, skip the video onto when it's finished that download right so as you can see it's finished downloading it and we have Super Mario Sunshine in a WinRAR or just an archive file so what you want to do is double click on it now some um, some of the downloads come with the ISO pre um, pre built. On this one, it's split up into parts. So I'm going to show you how to turn that into an ISO or GCM file. So just extract this game to wherever you want to save it. I'm just going to extract it here. And um, yeah, so it did that pretty quick. And um, here are all the files. Right. So this one you don't need. You can delete that. And you can also delete this because anything like that, there's always system information and it just tells you about your own computer, so it's a bit useless. So just delete that. So now for WinRAR, what you want to do is highlight them all, 
right click and extract here or extract wherever you want right so just extract here for me and um, it'll start to extract them depending on your computer it could take um, 10 minutes or about 10 seconds for me it's took about a minute well about 30 seconds or so and um, it's extracted them all into that one file so as you can see for me it's a it's a GCM file sometimes it will do at ISO doesn't really matter they're both basically the same so now we've got that we can delete all these Just delete them and that's the actual game um, crack itself that's the game itself so now we can also delete the original download as well gone right so now we want to launch the game so what you want to do is go into Dolphin um, go into Dolphin open find the game wherever you saved it I've got it in GameCube Game Super Mario and there's the file so just open that and it will start to play the game you can in the settings in config you can set it to run on full screen or whatever you want and uh, I've got the FPS up and everything and as you can see it plays beautiful the resolutions are a bit terrible but that's not the program that's just cause that's what the resolutions were when the game came out as you can see it runs beautifully So there you go. Also, if you're not sure what controls are for your um, for your game, because this confused me when I first got it as well, you want to click on GC Pad, click on that, and this gives you all the controls for for um, the games. So as you can see, it gives you all. It's these are all. I know it looks a bit daunting like this, but if you data to narrow it down. These are all the buttons that were on the original GameCube controllers, and their key and their keyboard alternatives. You can also change them to whatever you want. Here's the main stick, which is the arrows. C stick, which are the um, which are the these buttons on the keyboard triggers and the D-pad. Now you can also change these to whatever you want. You can set it to whatever device you want. Um, but what I do is um, I've hooked up my PS3 controller. So I can control, uh, so I can literally, so and I'm emulating my controller in such a way that, for example, moving the left stick upwards will be the equivalent of pressing the up arrow, moving it down, the equivalent of pressing the down, and pressing the X button will be the equivalent of pressing X on the keyboard, which is A. And uh, if you want me to show a video of how to do that, say I've got the program up here, if you want me to show a video of how to do that, um, just leave a comment in underneath the video. So, all in all, um, this is Dolphin 3.0, Banana Man 6, showing you how to emulate um, GameCube games on a PC or Mac. Thanks for watching, please comment, rate and subscribe.